Hello everybody, welcome again. Today we are going to see Turnitin plagiarism detector. If you are new for this channel, please subscribe and you can uh, get more and more uh, videos and tutorials on different issues. So today we are going to see Turnitin, which is the most important plagiarism detector uh, software. So by using Turnitin, you can, uh, especially the scholars like PhD students, uh, researchers, also the master student, bachelor student, even if, if you are doing assignments in the projects, uh, you can easily detect or you can check the similarity of your work with the work which is done before. So this technique is a text machining tool that commonly used to help detect plagiarism, but it can be integrated into course activities as an educational tool to help you practice proper scholarly writing e skills. So to use Turnitin, first of all, you have to write Turnitin, the website, Turnitin.com. So by using this, if you don't have account, you have to create account. If you have account, simply you have to log in. So immediately it takes to you this login to Turnitin. So I have account, so I'm going to log in using my account. Here I have uh, this space to submit my document or my file. So I'm going to show you how to submit. It depends on your connection. So sometimes it's very fast and sometimes it can be slow. So here I'm going to submit the demo report. So here we have uh, the submitting button. Click on the submitting button. Then here it shows you uh, the, the file to submit. You can uh, submit the single file upload or uh, cut and paste upload. You can do like that. Uh, automatically it shows the name it can't be changed but here you have to write the submission title it is demo report one so by using this you can choose the file from these options I'm going to choose the file from my computer let's see the first one so I am going to add then after that upload the file so it takes some uh, minutes to upload then after that, you have to confirm the upload file. So it is confirming. Then go back. It depends on the condition, as I told you, and it depends on the uh, file size. It may take uh, uh, like one hour or more than one hour, or sometimes like within minute, it can uh, do for you. So it's like here, as you see, it's processing. So let me refresh it. So we can see this Turnitin. By the way, after the result in Turnitin, the similarity indexes are uh, as if in, like it's represented in the percentage. I can, as can you see here, it's like 98 percentage and it's red. That means it's uh, the similarity of the this submitted paper is too much. It's like 98 percentage of the paper is similar with other person or other scholar papers. So you can check where is the similarities so here click the view in the view it shows you the the file after checking so this all is highlighted like this the file so you can check here the files or the similarity one by one so here it shows like uh this this person or this file is taken from uh, like six uh, potential places so the percentage is located like this so you have to go each by each to re-edit or to review your files or your work again and again then after that finally uh, you have to download the file so I'm going to download the current view that means the, after the review so this is the current it's downloading so after downloading, you can check uh, here the file is the PDF format. So in the PDF format, it shows everything. For example, in the last way, you it shows you how much uh, the similarity index. It's 98 percentage. The internal source, the application, the student paper. So you can check all these things and you can re-view uh, your uh, work. This is the advantage of uh, Turnitin. So 
if you have any question you can ask me or if you want to uh, check the, your file or your project using the anything i can put a, a detail below so you can contact us thank you very much for today see you next time on other uh, videos or other tutorials